I'm here at the 2012 Pennsylvania Farm Show. I'm here with two young ladies from the district, Darla and Kayla Romberger. I'm thrilled to be here. I'm happy that you young ladies are here. It's an exciting show. I was talking to someone from the Department of Agricultural Culture earlier, and they were telling me about the fact that Saturday attendance may have been an all-time high. Um, what do you think about the show so far? So far, um, I've been working with another booth, and again, I've just seen so many people, and the livestock shows have been going well. Um, we've had su some success in the show ring already, so th we're looking for more of that later in the week, but just to talk to a lot of people, and we're glad that they came out for this year's farm show. Well, I'm thrilled to be here, and there's a lot of excitement. Uh, Kayla, tell us a little bit about our friend over here. You're showing an animal this, this week. Yes, this is my market goat. His name's Franklin. He weighed 77 pounds, and he plays fifth in his weight class, so I was able to sell him now, tomorrow, at 1.30, I will be selling him. Okay, I'm anxious to be here for this sale. I hope I'm going to be, be able to be here. I know that I've been uh, at sales where you've shown animals before. The Schuylkill County Fair and the Gratz Fair are both in the 125th District now. Um, how many animals have you raised to show this year? Um, <laughs> Just for the farm show, the whole show season? Yeah, yeah the whole show season. Um, probably about five market animals, and then probably about ten breeding animals. You know, I think, it, like I said, there's a lot of excitement here, but there's a lot of excitement back at our, our local uh, farm shows, too, the Schuylkill County and the Gratz Fair, uh, those local fairs. Um, tell me about the difference between showing an animal at the Gratz Fair compared to here. Here, it is a lot more competitive. There's a lot more animals, so you have to bring the best you got if you want to do well. <laughs> Uh, you've been doing this for years, and uh, you, you're out of the junior class right now. You're not showing an animal this year, but tell me about your experience in the past showing animals. Oh, showing has been one of like, the best experiences of my life. Um, I can really accredit both my 4-H and FFA experiences to choosing the major that, I, that I've taken at, at college and the, the agriculture industry that I want to stay in based off of these projects and showing livestock or the, across the years. So. Well, I'm thrilled that you're here. I'm thrilled that you're carrying on this agricultural heritage. Uh, you know, I grew up in Tri-Valley School District, the same school district that you uh, have gone through and you're going through. Uh, and it's important to see young people staying involved in agriculture and, and promoting uh, Pennsylvania's number one industry. Uh, uh, tell me a little bit more about uh, what your experience has been with uh, FFA. Um, with FFA, I currently have my Keystone degree, which is the highest degree the state can give you. And I am going to be applying for my American, which is the national degree. So I've gone pretty far with my FFA career. That's terrific. I'm, I'm so thrilled with uh, how engaged you guys have been and that you're leaders in this industry. Uh, and just one last thing, Darla, where are you going to school right now? Yep, right now I'm currently a senior at Delaware Valley College with a double major in dairy science and animal science. So definitely stayed true to my roots. I'm going to major in something that I love, something that I'm passionate about. So, and actually Kayla joined me this fall as a freshman majoring in animal science and agriculture education. Great. Terrific. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of the week.